China has given me the opportunity not only to play basketball, but also to help me revitalize my life. Starting his NBA career in 1996, Stefan Marbury was selected for the All-Star Game and became one of the highest paid NBA players in history. In 2009, he ended the service in Boston Celtics and left the U.S. One year later, the basketball star took a unique journey, he said, to China. I didn't know nothing about Chinese basketball, really, to be honest. The only thing that I knew about was Yao Ming and the Great Wall. <laughs> I was just moving on, you know, and other, other opportunities opposed and came. So I was able to take advantage of the opportunity and being able to go and play from Shanxi to Foshan and from Foshan to Beijing. Go someplace where the culture was different, the food was different, the people were different, the language was different. So, you know, for me, it was more of a, a new way of living. Marbury did not give impressive performance in the first two teams where he played. He left with frustration from the Chinese media until he came to Beijing, a place he had looked forward to. I wanted to play in Beijing. I thought when I first came here, that would probably be the opportunity. When I left Foshan and um, had the opportunity to play in Beijing, it was like a dream come true because I got the opportunity to play in the big city, the biggest city um, in China, you know, where the capital. During the next six years in Beijing, Stefan Marbury led the Beijing Ducks winning three championships and defended one for the first time. The lone wolf, dubbed by his Chinese fans, turned into a two MVP winner and a highly respected basketball icon in China. Winning the championship in China, it made it that much special because it was done someplace completely different than um, what I was familiar with. I would say more of it was a, like, it was a challenge because I, was, I didn't know the language I didn't, I wasn't familiar with, you know, the culture 100% as I am now. We had a really good supporting staff as far as the people who were pushing for us to, to win, such as the fan base here in Beijing. Um, I think Coach Me, he did an amazing job in preparing us. And my teammates, they all put forth the effort to, to prepare themselves to get ready. I feel good. I feel good that I was able to accomplish those things with my teammates. Um, you know, we, we, we committed ourselves to, to set out a goal to do something and we did it. I mean, I wanted to win the championship all my life. In February 2018, Stefan Marbury finished his last game as a CBA player and announced to retire from the 22 years of his basketball career. It was time to finish. It was the end. But Marbury did not give up the basketball he has been dedicated to. He decided to help Chinese basketball through years of professional experience. After coaching a Beijing middle school team for one year, Marbury was hired as the head coach of Beijing Royal Fighters in June 2019. Right now, I'm just trying to establish myself and building, re, I should say, building out a culture that I think will be suitable for Big Hoon so that it can have a spirit where they can compete on, at a high level. When playing in the Chinese Basketball Association, Marbury said he wanted to coach the Chinese national basketball team. But now he seems to have different ideas. I think for myself, I could be one of the assistant coaches where I can support, but I think culturally it makes more sense for a Chinese person to be the coach because it just fits better. I've been here for the last eight years. I love living in Beijing. It's home. It's not anything different than me living in 
New York, um, it's the same thing. Sports has connected us in a way that it gives us a chance to be able to have a, a, a understanding about not only the culture, but um, about um, what, what our spirits lie in as far as why we were able to do the things that we did and winning championships. It was all really because of the spirit. I don't think it was just, I chose China. I think, you know, we, we both chose, chose each other and being able to take on this unique journey.